right here in front of Galco's Soda Pop Stop. Think about this, people come here all the time, cars, but never have I seen a tour bus come here. We're gonna go inside, as soon as people come inside, we're gonna get their thoughts on what sodas they like and what, what they'll be drinking today here at Galco's. This is gonna be really interesting. This is truly a first in the Coming to You Live history. initial take about the store here and uh, what, what products do you like from here? I like it because it has all the old-fashioned candies and second of all you have a selection of all the individual brands of Cokes and stuff that you can't find in regular supermarkets. So Miss, uh, you, you're in charge of the tour bus here. Can you yes. name your tour bus company and what, what you do? Uh, well, the name of the company is uh, Shelley Tucker Enterprises or Tucker Tours. And we do um, mainly senior groups. Okay. And we bring them around Los Angeles. We take them to neighborhoods that perhaps they grew up in but haven't been back oh, to okay. in a very long time. And Galco's is one of our most popular stops. Because it, it, it's the soda, the candy, what, everything. what's your feedback? Everything about everything. the Everything. Just the fact that they can find things that they uh, had when they were kids, uh -huh. and then Mr. Ness is nice enough to talk to us. So I, I think that is inclusive is just, it's like going down memory lane. And do you bring tour bus here once a month with guys? At or? least once a month. What brings you here to Galco today? I came across this place online and we just want to come in and check it out. Okay, and you know, John will help you with your sodas, but like, what, what type of sodas do you like or what flavors? Um, top of my head, I'm like, well, I do like strawberry, probably grape, my two favorites. Oh, well, carrot grape, my two favorites. Oh, well, come with me. Let me let me show you some strawberries and grapes. You know, most grapes are, are syrupy sweet today, mm -hmm. but we have very old-fashioned ones, like the new grape here, okay. and it's a real full-flavored grape that goes back to 1921. When my daughter tasted it, she says, Dad, now I know why people drank grape sodas. This is really good. It's much lighter than other grape sodas. It has a light, delicate taste. And then we also have like this one over here, which is called Pennsylvania Punch. Now this one is the original 1924 formula Delaware Punch. It has no carbonation in it, but it does have a little bit of spritz. So you open the bottle, you're going to get a little spritz right on the end of your tongue, and then that's going to dissipate out. This one right here is a New England style strawberry. The Captain Eli's is very, very good. Okay, and this one is a wild strawberry. So it has a little bit of a different taste. You know, not all strawberries are created equal. This one goes back to 1924. This brand goes back to 1924. And I can tell you that this is a 1960 strawberry soda. And it is right on the money. The first time the bottler did it, it had the taste, but it didn't have the oom. And I tasted it and I said, oh no, this is wrong. So I called the bottler up, I said, Mike, you know, the flavor is there, but it just doesn't have the oomph. And he says, well, I don't know what it's supposed to taste like. I've never tasted it before. I said, well, I know what it's supposed to taste like. It needs more oomph. The next time, the next batch that came in, it was right on the money. And so this is a real fall. I like that strawberry a lot. Well, you're welcome. You're right, that is right on the money. <laughs> <laughs> That's a really, really good really strawberry. Good. Here we are drinking linenade. Uh, that's all I can make out of it. It's some kind of soda. Oh, here it is in the back, linenade. Uh, but the front side, you would think it's from Russia all the way. I don't know exactly where it's from. But they say if you drink this, you'd be able to speak fluent Russian when, after you drink it. Let's find out. All bottles here at Galco Soda Pop Stop, they're not all twist off. As I kind of found out the hard way here by opening this Linenade. They say if you drink Linenade that you're able to speak fluent Russian. Let's find out. Obviously, many people seen your store be it on whatever a syndication show or whatnot or people who don't live in Los Angeles 
they order off the internet. How do, how do your internet sales go? And what's the most popular order off the internet that you sell? It, everybody has a different idea. I mean, everybody orders, and they can order one of anything. So what happens, you might get 12 different sodas, but they'll be able to try things that they wouldn't normally be able to try where they live. Okay. Um, and so that's what they do. They order things that they can't buy. And it just depends on the individual, whether they're a root beer lover or a cola lover or they're a fruit flavored lover or whatever they want. And they can do anything they want. It's their money, they can buy one of anything, okay? <laughs> Always be mesmerized about the amount of alcohol, whether it be European alcohol, beer and whatnot, that come down here, especially the wines, which, you know, something that, I don't want to say his, his inventory has been shaking, but you have all these great wine here, like Yellowtail. This place had Yellowtail before we came out to Bevmo. I remember that clearly, looking through here. Look at Pinot Noir, Italian wine. And you know, John East, he stays true to his Italian heritage. You know, look at, you know, I see. Oh, so, 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 so. Interesting here. Oh, well, look at down here, look at this gin. You know what this is? So one of my favorite drinks, sake here. Oh my god, imported here. Superior Junjiman Jinjo. Oh gosh. Oh, you gotta love this. Sake to me. I'll take some Yuso Citrus any day of the week. Never heard of this sake, but you gotta love the name. Sake to me. I'm definitely gonna take one of these home later. When I was a little kid, you could go anywhere and buy one of anything. And I think that's really important for the consumer to make the decision rather than for the, the person who's selling the product to make the decision. Uh, we started with single bottle sales, went to six packs, eight packs, 12 packs, 18 packs, 24 packs, now we're up to 30 pack. Mm -hmm. So what they're doing is they're spending your money for you. And when they spend your money for you, they're keeping you from buying a variety of things. So you have 30, you're not gonna buy anything else. You see the sign up here? We put that very, up very early. Freedom of choice, it's your decision, it's not ours. If you wanna buy one of anything, you can buy it. And that's what we believe in. It really becomes an important thing to, to, to give the consumer and the customer back the choice. Thank you for watching another edition of Coming to You Live with Marcelo Rajo. Today we're here at Galco Soda Pop Stop, where we hope you come down here and get your drink on, whether it be soda or beer or other fine spirits, and have your own live experience here at Galco's.